Chapter 51 Renal Circulation, Introduction, Blood Vessels of Kidneys are highly specialized to facilitate the functions of nephrons in the formation of urine. In the adults, during resting conditions both the kidneys receive 1,300 ml of blood per minute or about 26% of the cardiac output. Maximum blood supply to kidneys has got the functional significance. Renal arteries supply blood to the kidneys. Renal blood vessels Renal artery Renal artery arises directly from abdominal aorta and enters the kidney through the hilus. While passing through renal sinus, the renal artery divides into many segmental arteries. Segmental artery Segmental artery subdivides into interlobar arteries, Fig 51.1 Interlobar artery. Interlobar artery passes in between the medullary pyramids. At the base of the pyramid, it turns and runs parallel to the base of pyramid forming arcuate artery. Arcuate artery. Each arcuate artery gives rise to interlobular arteries. Interlobular artery. Interlobular arteries run through the renal cortex perpendicular to arcuate artery. From each interlobular artery, Numerous afferent arterioles arise. Afferent arteriole. Afferent arteriole enters the Bowman capsule and forms glomerular capillary tuft. After entering the Bowman capsule, the afferent arteriole divides into four or five large capillaries. Glomerular capillaries. Each large capillary divides into small glomerular capillaries, which form the loops. And, the capillary loops unite to form the efferent arteriole, which leaves the Bowman capsule. Efferent arteriole. Efferent arterioles form a second capillary network called peritubular capillaries, which surround the tubular portions of the nephrons. Thus, the renal circulation forms a portal system by the presence of two sets of capillaries namely glomerular capillaries and peritubular capillaries. Peritubular capillaries and vasa recta. Peritubular capillaries are found around the tubular portion of cortical nephrons only. The tubular portion of juxtamedullary nephrons is supplied by some specialized capillaries called vasa recta. These capillaries are straight blood vessels hence the name vasa recta. Vasa recta arise directly from the efferent arteriole of the juxtamedullary nephrons and run parallel to the renal tubule into the medulla and ascend up towards the cortex, Fig 51.2. Venous system. Peritubular capillaries and vasa recta drain into the venous system. Venous system starts with peritubular venules and continues as interlobular veins, arcuate veins, interlobar veins, segmental veins, and finally the renal vein, Fig 51.3. Renal vein leaves the kidney through the hilus and joins inferior vena cava. Measurement of renal blood flow. Blood flow to kidneys is measured by using plasma clearance of paraumina hipparic acid, refer chapter 55. Regulation of renal blood flow. Renal blood flow is regulated mainly by autoregulation. The nerves innervating renal blood vessels do not have any significant role in this. Autoregulation. Autoregulation is the intrinsic ability of an organ to regulate its own blood flow, chapter 102. Autoregulation is present in some vital organs in the body such as brain, heart, and kidneys. It is highly significant and more efficient in kidneys. Renal autoregulation. Renal autoregulation is important to maintain the glomerular filtration rate, GFR. Blood flow to kidneys remains normal even when the mean arterial blood pressure vary widely between 60 mm Hg and 180 mm Hg. This helps to maintain normal GFR. Two mechanisms are involved in renal autoregulation, myogenic response. Tubuloglomerular feedback. Myogenic response. Whenever the blood flow to kidneys increases, it stretches the elastic wall of the afferent arteriole. Stretching of the vessel wall increases the flow of calcium ions from extracellular fluid into the cells. The influx of calcium ions leads to the contraction of smooth muscles in afferent arteriole, which causes constriction of afferent arteriole. So, the blood flow is decreased. Tubuloglomerular feedback. Macula densa plays an important role in tubuloglomerular feedback, 
which controls the renal blood flow and GFR. Refer Chapter 52 for details. Special Features of Renal Circulation Renal circulation has some special features to cope up with the functions of the kidneys. Such special features are, renal arteries arise directly from the aorta. So, the high pressure in aorta facilitates the high blood flow to the kidneys. Both the kidneys receive about 1,300 ml of blood per minute, i.e. about 26% of cardiac output. Kidneys are the second organs to receive maximum blood flow, the first organ being the liver, which receives 1,500 ml per minute, i.e. about 30% of cardiac output. Whole amount of blood, which flows to kidney has to pass through the glomerular capillaries before entering the venous system. Because of this, the blood is completely filtered at the renal glomeruli. Renal circulation has a portal system, i.e. a double network of capillaries, the glomerular capillaries and peritubular capillaries. Renal glomerular capillaries form high-pressure bed with a pressure of 60 mm Hg to 70 mm Hg. It is much greater than the capillary pressure elsewhere in the body, which is only about 25 mm Hg to 30 mm Hg. High pressure is maintained in the glomerular capillaries because the diameter of afferent arteriole is more than that of efferent arteriole. The high capillary pressure augments glomerular filtration. Peritubular capillaries form a low-pressure bed with a pressure of 8 mm Hg to 10 mm Hg. This low pressure helps tubular reabsorption. Autoregulation of renal blood flow is well established.